Or uh, Mr. Steve, you can get the officer to help you. Got it. Then. Good morning, Your Honor. Are we on the record? Yes, we are. Okay. This is uh, Samuel Riley Siegel, 3A0741877, here for arraignment. Is that your true and correct name, sir? Samuel Siegel, yes. And is your date of birth? Yes. Um, earlier, I went over your rights at arraignment with you. Was I able to answer all of your questions about your rights at arraignment? Uh, yeah, we went over that I could be released from jail today. That's one of the things that we talked about as well, yes. But do you have any questions about your rights at arraignment? Um... Well, you you talked about them pretty thoroughly. It's just that, like, my hour started a little bit ago, or I look up and I see that it, it's been like a an hour and three minutes, you know, and I couldn't tell. Like, I I didn't really ask this, but I couldn't tell when the hour started. So, I'm not sure what you're referencing as far as the time. Yeah, it's like when do I pay for this attorney visit, like? Oh, you don't have to pay for any attorney like, visit. Uh, so, do you recognize that you're in the courtroom right now? Yeah. Okay. Do you have questions about your rights at arraignment? Um, um, it's like, yeah, I noticed that the rights and arraignment is that I got a, a rights and arraignment and then the charges. Uh, of one of the two charges of, is of the arraignment. So do you remember me going over the fact that you have a right to trial? Do you remember when I was talking about your right to trial and the rights that go along with your rights to trial? Uh, yeah. Okay. Did you have questions about those rights that I wasn't able to answer? Um, uh, like, it's just that I need to, like, I, I rather get, like, uh, I want to go over more information. Okay, we can go back into the breakout room. Mm -hmm. Um, you're gonna get an invitation to rejoin the breakout room. Uh, and join when you see it. Yeah, actually, like, I, I, I was doing the more information thing, and then we could stay in here, actually, and I, then I, I could go ahead and get released or something. It's, it's an issue of whether you have additional questions for me, and that's, I thought I'd answered all your questions, but if you still have questions for me, I, we can go into a breakout room and answer them, but if not, we can proceed. Did you have additional questions for me? Okay, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and proceed and get to the, when I have to go, uh, go to the courtroom. You're, you're in the courtroom, courtroom, Mr. Siegel. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and Your Honor, we yeah. can't hear you nice for some reason. Okay. Yeah, one sec. So, Mr. Siegel, do you have any other uh, questions yeah. about your rights at arraignment that I wasn't able to answer? Join. Oh, you just left. I'll be right back. I, um, I, I don't have copy concerns based on all the questions that he's asked me, but there's it's just a little slow. So I'll be right back. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Oh, okay. I, I don't know what that was. I was unmuted. Okay. Uh, click on that little. Oh, there you go. Do you have any questions about your rights at arraignment that I wasn't able to answer? No, not at this time. 
Okay. And your honor, I've gone over the charges, the maximum penalties, any mandatory minimum penalties. We'd acknowledge receive the complaint, wait for more reading, and ask for plea of not guilty. And we are asking for a direct appointment. If not guilty, will enter. I do find probable, or I did find probable cause to detain yesterday, and I will direct a point. What is the city's recommendation regarding release? Good morning. For the record, Cynthia Chenmuller for the city of SeaTac. Given the lack of history on the part of the defendant known to the city at this time, no objection to release, requesting standard conditions, including no contact with SeaTac International Airport, and a condition of no contact. Any objection to those conditions? No, Your Honor. Sir, I will release you on your promise to appear on condition that you attend all future court appearances, have no new criminal law violations, update your address with the court and DOL immediately if there are any changes, and can you still receive mail? At the uh, I haven't really been receiving mail there. Do you have anywhere uh, you can receive mail? Um... I need a, yeah, if they could set me up with a place to receive mail, that'd be good. And then, because I'm ordering a lot of stuff, or I got to, if they could maybe a little look up uh, uh, addresses of mine or something that are under my, because you know, I've been ordering. A, is that address your mom's address? And you you can get mail there, but your mom gets it. Is that correct? Um, uh, yeah, she's getting the mail there, and then I don't know what happens to it. If my dog ate it or something, that's a little Paco, you know? And, uh, like, I was just wondering if, like, um, if you know when he ate it, did he notice that, you know, how was it looking? You know, was it looking good that maybe 500, we could go up to 500? I see like a note on there that looks like there's a, an American flag behind there. So if I could get one of the checks that my mom uh, was getting, for my SSI case, or that's like kind of another case, you know? That sounds and like- That's supposed to be in the mail that uh, that's, and I wasn't getting my mail. Well, that sounds like something maybe you need to work out with your mother. Yeah, I, I need to work that out with my mom. Or it can help you with. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna follow, uh, uh, so the final condition so that you um, have no contact with SeaTac International Airport or the rental car facility, except for valid travel purposes. So unless you have a ticket to fly somewhere, you cannot be there. And no contact with Mary Ryan, Mary Ritchie, sorry. And um, we'll set this on for a pre-trial hearing. Mm -hmm. And that will be on November 7th at 8.30 in the morning in person in SeaTac Municipal Courts. So you'll have to come to the courthouse for that hearing. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes. You can just let the officers know that you're all done. No, you okay. Do your paperwork. I'll just get a printout, right? Yep. And then get a bus pass. Go yeah, the officers will give you a bus pass to, for you to get home. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. But you have to go let them know that you're ready. Yeah, I'll just call my mom and be like, yeah, can I come home today? And then if not, I'll just straggle around till that date and try to you know, go to the library or something, you know, and look up, uh, you know, bus routes and then get another bus pass. Or I, I like, I'm not going to waste bus passes, you know, that's why I, I like the bus passes. It's just that, you know, if, if I could get like a $15 or something too, that'd be nice. I don't think the officers like are going to do that for you, Mr. Siegel. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Siegel. We'll see you back here next month. Okay. Thank you. You can let the officers know you're done. Okay, thanks. Right. Thank you. Done. You can just get up and go get them. Yeah. I called out to them. You know, I said, "Holla back, officer." 
And I'm going to get on out of here today. I'm good. I just, I get to go. Little go. Anyways, I like to wrap up with, yep. Anyways, thank you, everybody. We did good today. And then I met some friends in here. I just, I can't talk to them ever or see them face to face. You'll get to see me face to face next time, sir. Okay. Yeah. My attorney, cool. If he signs off on that, we'll just, we'll get to have some times where, like, to add some interest on top of that. We'll just send some in from the U.S. We got some big bank coming in. On top of those other guys, they just they got some names, you know, some other kind of friends that yeah, we'll send some money in. And, right. then, and to my attorney, we'll get that through. You know, if I get out of this, I, I'm not sure if I can get out of this ability to get that money started coming out there. Or my mail, sorry, my name. Oh, yeah, they want to go smoother. Yeah, I think. 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 Yeah, I think.